the Arrhenius acid base theory is one of the earliest theories of acid base chemistry. And Arrhenius's definitions of acid and base are primarily based on the effects of these compounds on aqueous solutions when they're dissolved in water. So an Arrhenius acid is defined as a species that increases the concentration of dissolved hydrogen ion when it's placed in water. And here the term hydrogen ion is a little bit ambiguous. Our first instinct might be to write this as just H+, but free protons don't exist in aqueous solutions. And so another way to write this, which is a bit more descriptive, a bit closer to reality, is H plus aqueous, aqueous proton, indicating that it's solvated by water molecules. Yet another way to write this is as H3O plus, the hydronium ion, in which we've actually formed a bond between the oxygen in water and H plus to make H3O plus. So you'll hear me use the terms hydronium ion and aqueous proton sort of interchangeably. I generally don't say hydrogen ion because that's a little bit ambiguous. The key thing to keep in mind here is that when acids increase the concentration of H plus in an aqueous solution, that H plus becomes incorporated into some kind of solvated species or a species in which oxygen has formed a bond to the proton. And there's more than one water molecule involved in this in reality, which is why even hydronium is a little bit ambiguous, but either of these will get the idea across. So an Arrhenius acid is any species that does some kind of reaction involving an increase in the concentration of H plus in solution. So we can write a chemical equation in which aqueous H plus or H3O plus shows up on the product side. This is what's known as an Arrhenius acid, HA. And typically, HA will contain a hydrogen in its formula that is the hydrogen that is given up or donated to increase the concentration of dissolved H plus in solution. An Arrhenius base is a species that increases the concentration of dissolved hydroxide in aqueous solutions. And hydroxide is OH minus, and so we represent aqueous hydroxide at, like this, OH minus, and a Arrhenius base, when dissolved in water, increases the concentration of this species. Many Arrhenius bases actually contain the hydroxide anion built in. So we have some metal cation and some number of hydroxide anions in the formula. When that compound is dissolved and dissociates, hydroxide ion is surrendered. Right? But there's another way this can happen, and this is common for amine bases like ammonia NH3. Reaction with water can also produce hydroxide ion. And the idea here is there's a transfer of a proton from H2O to the base, creating hydroxide, OH minus. So both of these, we're going to consider Arrhenius bases, these metal hydroxide salts, which are kind of your classic Arrhenius bases, as well as weak amine bases like NH3 and derivatives, where other groups, primarily containing carbon, are replacing these hydrogens. So to summarize, Arrhenius acids increase the concentration of dissolved hydronium ion or aqueous proton when they're dissolved in water, while Arrhenius bases increase the dissolved concentration of hydroxide when they're dissolved in water.